<laughs> you know what this is, Ryan? I think this is Nissan Electrical Infidelities, um, episode one, but this is probably the 164th yeah. electrical problem we've had. So the, the uh, O2 sensor, the wideband stopped working, and so I found out that a passenger had just ripped the ground wire out. So I fixed that. We grounded it to a different place. We did. So it was grounded down here on the transmission uh, controller plug. So then we regrounded it in here to this plug. The sound system. Yeah, because that's where we're taking power from because that's switched power. Yeah. So that seemed like a good idea. And then it, we thought everything was working great. Yeah. And then I realized something was different. Um, I would turn off the lights and the uh, instrument panel would stay... Uh, illuminated until I turned the key off. That meant like a sign to me that we did something wrong. And my guess was that it was backfeeding through um, us plugging those in because that's when it started happening. Right. And then clue number two is that Ryan called me tonight and said, hey, can we retune the the, the Nissan? It's, uh, it's running really rich everywhere. And I was like, well, that doesn't sound right. We tuned it pretty lean. Well, as it turns out, the wideband controller was reading a very different reading than the, well, my computer or the ECU. And our theory is that because it was backfeeding through the ground system, we were getting voltage, transient voltage from somewhere else, that the signal being sent to the car's ECU was wrong. So we have tried to give it a clean ground in a few different places and it wasn't working. And so Ryan somehow convinced me that the right way to do this. Could... I didn't convince you. I just said this is what we're doing. I think that was the trick. You're right. You didn't convince me at all. I still think this is a bad idea, but but it's going to function. What we did is what Ryan what Ryan did is take the ground wire from the wideband controller and then we run it over here, over yonder, and then it's taped to half of a jumper cable set. Yeah, a rusty jumper cable set, which is important because we kept getting poor readings until I scraped the shit out of it to clean it up. It's a feature. It's a feature. And that runs all the way into the back of the car where the battery is. And it's connected right to the battery. Straight to the battery. It's got clean, rusty ground all the way to the sensor. So shall we see if it works? Absolutely. Okay, let's see if it's working. Go ahead and start it. 14, 9. 14, 8. Hey! 14, 8. I have 14, 9. 14, 9, 15. 15. 15, 2. 15, 3. I think it's fixed. Dude, I think that was it. I think, it, yeah, I just needed a good ground. All right, we're back in business. Yeah, things seem to be, things seem to be working pretty good. 14, 7, 13, 3. 13, 1 right now. Yep. Oh yeah, that was it. She seems pretty happy now that we're just cruising. Yeah, the idle is way better. I wonder if it was just trying to correct so much that it was screwing up the idle. Yeah, because what, what setting is turned on where it takes information from the wideband? And... Ego. Yeah. Yeah, it's turned on and like right now you can see it's working. So ego is the yellow line here. So you can see like right here, if this car weren't so bumpy. You can see it's working. Ego is doing something, but our AFRs are smoothing out. So that's good. I mean, if you think about it, even a, even a person that's not grounded very well is gonna have ego problems. You know, that's just a life lesson. Wow. I think our problems are solved. Well, I mean, there's still a cable running to the battery, but we know what the problem is. Oh yeah, so, we know what the problem is, so now we know that we could fix it if we could be bothered. Don't use a ground well, I mean, we should probably fix it before you try to sell it. Yeah. I don't think a, a battery cable running through the back seat's a good idea. Right. But, uh, yeah, don't use leftover grounds from the, from the stereo. That's the secret. Yeah, why do you think it was a bad ground? Uh, I don't know. Fine. But, now let's tune the shit out of it. For maximum fuel efficiency. That's what we're going for. 